I mean, Steven Soderbergh doesn't really need an introduction. You've seen his movies, at least some of them, but he's probably best known for Ocean's Eleven, I would guess. And I'm definitely a fan of the guy, however his output has always been of a varying quality. And in the last decade or so he's really been pumping out content like crazy. He's also been experimenting with making movies with minimal equipment in the last few years. Like shooting movies with iPhones, again to varying degrees of success. Take for instance High Flying Bird, I thought that one was pretty great. But then his last movie, The Laundromat, was more messy than great. But that doesn't stop me from looking forward to whatever he puts out next. Because you never know what he's gonna do, and this one once again proves that. He's done something different here, and in many ways it didn't quite feel like your average Soderbergh movie. Not that I know if there's even such a thing as an average Soderbergh movie these days. But let's start with the story that follows this uh, aging author played by Meryl Streep. And the basic idea here is that she's going on a trip on the Queen Mary 2 over to the UK. Along with two old friends and her beloved nephew to keep her and her friends company. And that's where most of this story takes place, on the actual ship. And you know, from the very get-go this just seemed like an odd story to tell for a middle-aged man. A story told mostly from the perspective of an old woman, and it deals with the friendship between three old women. But then I looked up the writer, Deborah Eisenberg, and uh, things started to make a lot more sense. Because she's a 75-year-old woman, and you know what? That shows in the story. Although from what I could gather from my very brief research, apparently Soderbergh only used the outline of the story here. And most of the dialogue was actually improvised, and you know what? One of the reasons I even looked into this was, well, two things primarily, the cinematography and the dialogue. Because from the very first few shots I could tell that Soderbergh was once again up to his old tricks. He was clearly experimenting, because I wasn't a huge fan of the overall look of the movie. Especially in certain scenes the highlights were just completely blown out, and other scenes were just a tad bit too dark, but well, <laughs> there's a reason for that. This was apparently shot with all natural light and just a camera and sound equipment. And listen, as a fan of Terrence Malick, I gotta say I'm a huge fan of natural light. However, the light on a cruise ship is mostly artificial and where it is actually natural sunlight, it still doesn't necessarily look great. So yeah, the overall look of the movie was more of a miss than a hit for me. But when it comes to the dialogue, to me at least, the experimentation paid off. Because I almost immediately got the feel that this wasn't 100% pre-written. People just said things in a way that would have been edited out while writing it. And sometimes it felt a bit clumsy and awkward, and that's not usually the case in movies. But it is the case in actual conversation, and that gave this one a pretty unique feel. But it didn't feel meandering either, every scene did serve a clear purpose. So it avoided that pitfall pretty well, I would say, and I really enjoyed most scenes. But I would say my highlight for the movie was probably Meryl Streep and her nephew, played by Lucas Hedges. Because their performances were really good, and their relationship on screen was just... great. That might have actually been my single favorite thing about this movie overall. And the little romance angle that they threw into the story worked surprisingly well too. I mean, I could see where it was going from the moment it was introduced. But it felt authentic, and the actors really sold me on it, so I liked that a lot as well. But one of the biggest surprises for me was probably Daniel Algrand's character. He plays another author and has a fairly small role, but he just... He worked perfectly in this. But I also found the overall story here to be compelling and interesting enough to hold my attention throughout. And the movie even managed to throw in a twist that I definitely did not see coming. And it's one of those perfect twists too that uh, make complete sense and you feel like you should have seen them coming. So the movie gets bonus points for that too. It's a difficult thing to pull off. And in general, despite this being far from a perfect movie and not Soderbergh's best by any stretch, I still ended up enjoying it quite a bit and couldn't really find that much to complain about. I just liked most things about it and as a result I'm gonna give it a solid 7. Boop. But does that mean I would recommend it? And it's, it's probably not for everybody. 
I can definitely see a fair amount of people not appreciating it as much as I did. So, you know, use your best judgment, maybe check it out, maybe don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel because that would be fantastic.